Um, so one of the threads that you introduced at the beginning is the big data issue, and a lot of people are really worried about this, and they think that um, big data makes it really hard for us to react in certain ways and to be able to separate signal from the noise. But the three principles you offered at the end didn't seem to be addressing to me uh, how, do, how, as individuals, we're supposed to re uh, re re react to the issue of big data. So do you think it's really a problem at an individual level, or is it just, uh, is, it, is it hyped up more than... So seems? you mean at the level of like an individual making a day-to-day -day life choice? Yeah, because it seemed like you introduced this as a, frame, a framing technique, but then you didn't seem to explain how, how it should influence our decision making, or how, what, what it, how, if it should. So I, I suppose I'm not thinking so much about, about the day-to-day -day decisions. I mean, you know, people talk about the value of, of gut wisdom or the value of, of intuition. Um, and on a day-to-day -day level, it's usually totally fine, right? Um, or you, your learning process is totally fine. You don't want to necessarily spend, uh, spend uh, three hours trying to optimize your, your airfare to France or whatever, right? You want to kind of make a, a, use quick heuristics to make a basically good decision. But the problem is that when we face problems that do have more, more complexity, to them, um, then I think our intuition maybe doesn't work quite as well. We can get ourselves into more trouble. But yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to, uh, I mean, the advice might seem a little vague, because I do think it's not the matter of, oh, we have to apply a particular statistical tool uh, in any given situation. It's more about the kind of thought process that leads up to it, and thinking about what our, what our goals are and what our incentives are, um, that understanding that, uh, that we have a very, uh, very small point of view. There's so much information out there, we can't possibly consume it all, that um, understanding that we come at each problem with a subjective point of view, and you can't really overcome that. So it is trying to be, uh, be I suppose, more, more universal <laughs> and less specific about attitudes that I think are, are helpful. And this comes from kind of, the book is essentially a series of, of 13 case studies of how prediction is working or failing to work in different fields and, and trying to do things that are relatively universal across there. But the more, the more universal <laughs> you are, the less kind of precise and specific you are, I think, and, and vice versa. So I can say, well, if you're doing certain things, we're trying to predict how, how baseball players might do, do X and Y, but don't do, don't do P, D, and Q. Um, but to say, as general matters across all disciplines, then that's what the kind of book is trying to be aimed at, I suppose.